What's the real difference between Kun, Chan, and San? What does Dattebayo actually mean? Does Sharingan actually mean something in Japanese? If you've ever had these honest questions while watching any type of Japanese media, anime, listening to J-pop and J-TV shows, it is true that Japanese people do have a clear understanding of what all of these actually mean. And that is because the secret the himitsu that most people won't let you know is because they speak Japanese fluently. What I'm essentially trying to say is that for you to get a full comprehensive understanding of every Japanese media including anime that you watch, understanding the Japanese language, culture, and how the people interact with it is a necessity for you to experience the culture fully. And this is because mainly a lot of qualities of the Japanese language is not directly translatable. Like just check out the Google Translate mess that you see on the internet sometimes. And that's how terrible the direct translation from Japanese to English or any other language is because it's its own little island language and it doesn't have a lot of connections to anything, maybe a little bit with the Chinese, but how they pronounce things and the way the language is processed is completely different from any other language you might see. In order for you to complete that training arc to Japanese fluency so you could say, Matsu, I don't need your help anymore. I understand this without any damn subtitles. Here are three habits to help you learn Japanese. First aspect you have to understand to build a habit is trigger. Now I'm not talking about being triggered and pissed off, but what I mean is trigger as something that reminds you to do something. Some basic human innate trigger is like hunger, which acts obviously as a trigger for you to find food, get that ramen, sushi, anything you'd like. And thirst, which would obviously trigger you to find water and quench that thirst. But obviously in the modern ages, there are way more triggers than that that essentially humans have created for themselves. Like you wake up, feel groggy, so you get a little bit of cup of coffee, a little cup of joe. You're bored, you got nothing better to do, so you binge watch anime, probably One Piece. So let's control this trigger, kind of like giving yourself a Genjutsu Sharingan to manipulate yourself into using a trigger that will help you start learning Japanese now. One of the triggers I will recommend to you as your true one and only sensei is use the trigger of wanting to watch anime. I'm gonna make an executive guess right now that you like to watch anime or, an or some type of Japanese media at least. So when you get that craving, oh, what is, what is Anya from Spy Family up to? Is she playing with a bondoman? Is she, is she, is she manipulating her thoughts for Damien? What is Anya up to? <laughs> and there, purposely do not turn on Crunchyroll, but say, wait a second, pause. How nice would it be if I could actually understand this without subtitles in its fully natural form and make it a trigger for you to learn and study Japanese before each episode. Essentially use that natural drive to consume Japanese culture to your advantage as a trigger so that now you can dive into your routine. So two, routine is that real meat, that niku of what you will actually be doing. Now that you got your trigger to work whenever you wanna watch anime, be like, oh, I'm gonna learn a little Japanese first. This is the part where you obviously actually start learning Japanese. For you to not lose that momentum that your trigger just catalyst, just cause you to move, you must have all your materials ready so that you can learn Japanese now. Do not lose that momentum. I would say it should take you few seconds at most for you to sit down, get the notebook, your study materials, and be studying in a matter of a few seconds like I just said. If it takes too long and you lose that momentum, this habit will never be established. But now you might also be thinking, okay, I've sat down, I have my notebook, my textbook well organized, but how long should I, how much should I actually be studying? So this part is actually pretty important. You should have a schedule already in place for how many hiragana, katakana, basic grammar that you're going to study for each day. Many of these accomplished or bullet points have to be written down a day before at least, not never on the day of, because if it's on the day of, writing down those bullet points will make you feel accomplished even though you didn't do anything. So it has to be written down before this day happens. Essentially from your trigger on, the work you will be doing should be seamless and automatic. 
If you liked the video so far, please give me a like and I have Skillshare all the way from hiragana, katakana, and basic grammar to get you to advanced stage of Japanese. But also check out Nihongo Master, which is not for me, but using that referral link down below would help this channel out if you need like a bunch of other Japanese drills um, to keep on studying Japanese with. Thanks. Ariga, thanks. Three, now for you to continue following this trigger and routine, what you need at the very end is a reward. A reward should be something that you are looking forward to that actually gives you that waku waku feeling. But you have to make sure you do not, you never, ever, not even once, reward yourself before following that trigger routine path first. If you break that pattern and reward yourself first, your brain, literally your subconscious brain, will never develop, develop that pattern of trigger routine than reward. Essentially, it will never associate the trigger with a reward at the end. For example, like if your trigger is what we just mentioned, an itch to start watching anime, do not start watching anime before you follow that trigger and routine before you get that bullet points down for studying Japanese. I have heard people follow this trigger routine method and never break it say that having this reward of watching an episode after studying these set bullet points I made day prior helped me stay continuously motivated where I was able to study Japanese for long periods of hours. Imagine doing that for the whole One Piece saga. <laughs> On average it is said that it takes 66 On average it on average, it says that it takes 66 days for our behavior to get automatic. And in reality, when, it, when you finally get that habit to form that trigger routine and reward, it actually gets a lot harder to break. So there are good habits and bad habits. And if you could make a good habit, it's also just as hard to break as a bad habit. That's why bad habits are so ingrained and so difficult to break. Now imagine it is a good habit like learning Japanese. Learning Japanese will become such an integral part of your everyday everyday jinsei, everyday life, so that you will make enormous progress by the end. You will be so happy that you worked so hard to get that trigger, routine, and reward of watching anime at the end ingrained as part of your life. This method can work for any habit, but for now, let's focus on learning Japanese and studying Japanese so that you could actually go to Japan and experience that real sushi with Matsuma. Like and subscribe and check out the links in the description and peace. Ariga, thanks.